Let me introduce to you the Global Sun Oven. You know, many people are learning to cook in a solar oven. It makes sense. The sun's energy is free, solar ovens are portable, but not all solar cooking is created equal. Let me introduce to you the Global Sun Oven and explain why spending maybe just a little bit more for an oven that will give you a lifetime resource. The Global Sun Oven is not just a solar cooker. Solar cookers certainly use this, the energy of the sun, but generally they are not uh, well insulated, they don't control the moisture, they are often not very durable, and they don't angle up to adjust for the, compensate for the angle of the sun on the horizon. But the Global Sun Oven is all of these. It was designed to be not only a sun oven, a solar cooker, but an appliance and a traveling companion all in one. Let me just show you some of the features of the Global Sun Oven. When you look at the, at the Global Sun Oven, you can see its rugged construction. It is housed in durable, impact-resistant plastic. The box is well insulated, and the lid will actually close quite tightly using the neoprene seal. This allows the oven to trap the moisture of the food to remain in the sun oven so that it does not burn or dry out. Now this is a very important feature which allows you to leave the food maybe even in a little bit longer than you would normally or what you would expect and it will not burn. Neither a conventional oven or other solar cookers have this advantage. So what can you cook in the solar sun oven? Well here are some of my favorites. Obviously bread. It's one of the most common and the most delicious. Cookies and biscuits. What about chicken? And we know it's important to get chicken up to the right temperature, but you can be assured in the sun oven you'll have it plenty hot. Look at this chicken. Gumbo. Gumbo that's this wet comes out beautiful with a rich texture. What about corn? Corn on the cob. Pulling it out now. Oh, it's delicious. Fresh eggs, baked potatoes, even a pot roast, perfect pot roast. Look at this. You can stew chili for hours on end, or maybe cook some of that beautiful salmon that we really enjoy. Beautiful taste, very delicious, and wonderfully tender. So you might wonder, what kind of pots can I use? Well, obviously, we have the black pots that you can use, but don't be restricted and limited to there. The first thing you might want to try to do is actually find a lid that's clear that you can put on top of the black pot. That way you can see what's cooking. But some of those old pots I had from a long time ago, you might want to get those with lids that you can stack, put rice, even some of your old Pyrex dishes. They work wonderfully well. Oven bags are the secret to making that pot roast come out so well. But there's a few things that we, you might want to know about that you can cook in a sun oven or use your sun oven for that you might not be able to use in any other solar cooker. First of all, dehydrating. Because of the way the neoprene seal around the edges, it allows you to dehydrate. Sprouting is another important thing. Because you can put the sprouters in the sun oven and keep the temperature just right, you can actually sprout even in the winter when it might be more difficult to sprout regularly. Another very, very important print, uh, thing that you can do is use the solar oven to purify water. We hope you'll see that the value of the Global Sun Oven is more than just a, a simple tool. It's actually a, a resource that you want to have in your emergency kit.